Hey boys and girls, this is Wildman Willis here, and I'm doing a review of the latest WWE pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. Well, this was a so-so pay-per-view. The only thing about it was they had a lot of dusty finishes. I think that was a tribute to him because he just passed recently. And they did a nice little tribute to ring salute bell salute for him in the beginning of the show. That was pretty nice for them to do. So they started off with the Money in the Bank ladder match. And it was Sheamus, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. Oh, God. Who else was in that joint? Oh, Kofi Kingston, Neville, and that was basically it. I might be missing somebody, but it's not important. But one of the first dusty finishes of the night where you think that Roman Reigns was about to win the match. And the lights go off. And guess who comes out of nowhere? Bray Wyatt to push Roman Reigns off the top of the ladder. And then Sheamus comes in and takes the money in the bank so Seamus has the belt has the money in the bank to cash in at any time for the belt and it was a halfway it was a decent ladder match I can't complain too much about it then you had the Divas title with Nikki versus Paige and it seemed like that Paige was going to win but Another dusty finish comes around and twin magic happens once again. But we got ten, but the referee didn't take the um win because he noticed it was Nikki. It was Bree and not Nikki, so they kept started the match back up and Nikki blindside page and. Nikki is still the Divas champ. Then the third dusty finish of the night, we had the we had the Miz come out and talk junk about Ohio, but the match was actually the Big Show versus Ryback, and it was okay. It was seemed like that Ryback was going to win the match, and then Miz start interfering, and then just basically cost Ryback the match, but. Ryback is still the champ, so that's the third dusty finish of the night. And then we're going to go on to the match of the night. John Cena versus Kevin Owens. It was a knockdown, drag out match. Everybody was kicking out of moves that normal guys wouldn't kick out of. But John Cena gets his win back, so I can't complain too much about that because both guys did a hell of a match. But Kevin Owens gets his revenge and the same thing he did to Sami Zayn. He did to John Cena. So, maybe Cena disappear for a couple of weeks to sell the injury and don't pull the Super Cena crap like he always do. So, and then again, we had the tag team title match. New Day versus Primetime Players. A pretty short match. And shockingly enough, primetime players won. I was surprised. Very, very surprised about that one. So, I'm glad that the primetime players won. Gave them the belt. So, let's see what, how long this will last. Then, before the match, they did a tribute video to Dusty Rose, which was very touching. And then, we had the final match, the ladder match. Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins and Triple H gave Seth Rollins a little pep talk before the match because Seth said he didn't need nobody. So, back and forth, forth and back, but there was a good psychology in this match because Seth Rollins kept on going after Dean Ambrose's legs, so that was a selling point to the match. And after everything that they went through, Seth Rollins come out the winner. 
he didn't need no help from nobody. He did it on his own. So basically, so he can look strong until SummerSlam so him and Brock can fight. Because you can't have Seth going in looking weak as the champion against Brock. It just telegraphed too much. So all in all, it was an okay pay-per-view. Elimination Chamber and this has something in common. Only one match was the most important was the standout and that was the Cena and Owens match so that's it for my review this is Wildman Willis signing off see you next time